et quod idio ut prohibitionis aspertain. <laughs> And that was Pope Parsicus. What a visionary. Back to you, Phil. What an interesting speech. Hey, John, we don't have any steaks. Oh, shoot. We are going to need those for the barbecue next month. Yeah. We could try going to that new place that opened up. I think it's called Green Meats. Sure. That sounds fine to me. Armum. Hey, guys. Kirby, you work at Green Meats? Sure thing. I'm an apprentice for the boss, anyway. Gotta make ends meet somehow. Interesting. Well, we'd like to buy some sirloin cuts if you have them. Sure, let me just get the boss. Oh, here he comes now. Welcome to Green Meats. How can I help you today? Yes, we would like to get some sirloin cuts. All right, sure. Anything else? I have a question, actually. How long have you been here in the city? Ah, just a month or two. Just trying to get back on my feet after closing the old store in Washington State. Pretty cool. Here's your sirloin. Cool, thanks. Hello. Welcome to Green Meats. Yes, I would like some ground beef. All right, coming right up. I just need you to take your shoes off. Excuse me? If you want me to grind you some meat, you're gonna have to take your shoes off. What? Sorry, rules are rules. That's ridiculous. How come they didn't have to take their shoes off? Read the sign, miss. That is absolutely insulting. I'm leaving. Your loss! That was strange. Hey, rules of rules. Hey everyone, hehehe. <laughs> no, get the fuck out! Oh, come on, I just want some meat. Leave right now! But Mr. Green, I just want to- Get the fuck out of my fucking store! What the hell was that? I've been dealing with that stupid foreigner since day one. He keeps gluing his ass to the toilet seat in the bathroom. What the fuck? Uh, I don't get it either. Maybe he's related to that weirdo from Sevierville who gave out tours. Maybe. Well, it was nice doing business with you guys. You come back now, all right? Sure thing. All right, see you later. I'm gonna turn on the radio. Oh, this fucking rules. Turn it up. Did you think there was anything odd about that Mr. Green guy? His whole policy about shoes is weird. Never seen anything like that before. Yeah, not to mention that guy he just randomly kicked out. Well, nobody wants to deal with someone gluing themselves to the toilet. That is true, I guess. It's good to see Kirby again, though. I didn't know he worked. Hopefully it'll be a good gig for him. Here it is, boss. This should liven up the place. Kirby, what the hell? You gotta get that out of here. Why? It's just a houseplant. Kirby, that's... that's not a houseplant. What? Yeah, it is. I've just been keeping it in the corner of my house for years. I just bought it at a store. Well, that houseplant has a special name. Well, what is the name? Well, it's... I, I can't really tell you. The houseplants don't like it when you say the name. What? They can't hear? Uh, yes, Kirby. Plants can hear. And I said, he thinks plants hear. Laugh at this fucking idiot. And he fired me. And then I went... Sucks. That blows. Guess I have to watch my language after all. So now what are you gonna do? Guess I'll have to work with Otacon at the warehouse or something. No more listening to Rage's first album for me, then. Oh well. Gotta get going. See you around. Kirby is an odd individual. That he is. <laughs>